Augustine asked about uh, how we randomize frames. So sort of like how we're randomizing clips. Uh, he was asking if we can do that on the frame level. And we can. There's a couple different ways to do that. So um, I put together this quick notebook to sort of show uh, how we can do that. So obviously, folks, you want to connect to Google Drive. I'm already connected uh, in part because I did a lot of different stuff here that I didn't want to redo because it takes a little bit of time. Um, OK, so there are some options here. So first off, there is a fil video filter inside of FFmpeg. Um, that allows you to do randomization on a individual clip or you know whatever video file you have. Um, good news about that is it allows for some smoothing, which we'll look at in a second. Um, it does include the audio, but you can't actually do this with audio. It's a uh, I've looked at a bunch of different uh, tutorials and stuff, and there's no way to actually have this match up to your audio um, because it's operating on the frame level. So audio doesn't operate in the same way. So just be aware that like your audio cannot be synced to that randomness, which is kind of annoying. You would need to cut it up into mini little clips, resync those clips, uh, and then do something with that. So not exactly uh, as easy as it sounds. OK, so let's take a look at how to actually do this in FFmpeg. So as usual, um, with FFmpeg, you pass in a uh, input video, so dash i, and then you can paste in your video file here. Um, I grabbed one that's a little bit of a longer video. That way, we can sort of see how these different um, changes to this frames counter, and then as well in the randomized section down here, um, how they differ. So <clears throat> there is a video filter, which is dash VF, and then you pass in this string. So it's random equals frames equals, and then colon, and then seed equals. So we've talked a little bit about seed before. Um, seed controls the random order. Uh, so you can set this, and then as you play with these, this value, it will sort of, you know, change the randomness here, but not here. This is helpful if maybe you want to repeat this and you always want to get the exact same video out. Or maybe you want to use the same seed across different videos um, so it's always along the same sort of repetition pattern. Next is this value called frames. And what frames does, we'll look at an example of this in just a second. Um, this controls essentially the window um, of how many, how, how frequently it should randomize. So the lower this number is, the less randomness there really is, there's sort of more like glitchiness. The wider your frame count is, so I've got an example here of four as well as 96. Um, so for four, it's gonna be within a four frame window, it's going to sort of change that order. So it'll actually look like it's uh, a fairly continuous scene, whereas at 96, it's going to look at between 96 frames and randomize within that group. Um, so you just run these, you'll get an output of you know whatever this value is. Let's take a look at what those videos actually look like. So let me just open up, um, open up all three of these for now. So random four looks a little bit like this. So you'll see that even within this sequence, it's not really that different. It's sort of like glitching back and forth within its sequence. On the flip side, we've got random 96. Now look at this. This is jumping much, it's a lot more jumpiness between these frames and you get this very, very fast glitching. Now randomness can go up to 512, meaning there's sort of a cap at like 512, which would be, how many seconds would that be? 21.3 seconds. So if you have a clip that's much, much longer than that and you want really, really random, then you need to look at this next example, which is using Python. So with this, what we're going to do is we're actually going to output our uh, clip into a bunch of frames. And we're going to stick that in a folder called ordered frames. right? And that's going to be um, the actual sequence of our frames. Then in this cell, we would run it and we would actually shuffle that order and then save those to a folder called random frames. Now, because of how FFmpeg works, despite this being a random frame order, you still need the order to actually be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what we're doing in Python here is we're actually um, shuffling the folders, but then renaming all the files to match our input format. So it's important to know that like, because we're feeding this into FFmpeg, we do need to sequence everything in the correct order. Otherwise, it would uh, just return back our old video to us. Um, down here, I just uh, am using our common, like, you know, taking frames and converting that into a video. Um, I left this in here because I could not remember the frame rate of this video, so I just used FF Probe to quickly output our frame rate. Uh, and then I read this back in. 
um, let me show you what this looks like when we do completely random behavior. So here you'll see completely random behavior and it is very, very chaotic. Now that's because this clip is a minute and a half long. Um, if this were a shorter clip, it might approach more what we saw before. So a lot of this depends on like what effect you're going for and um, you know, I would say the random video filter within FFmpeg is probably a little bit more controllable and maybe going to give you the look you need. But if you want like truly chaotic random, then like this Python version is actually the better way to go. You also notice this does not have audio on it. You could add the audio back in. It's a little annoying. I kind of skipped it because I didn't know that it was that important for this. Whereas that random video filter automatically adds the audio back in. Maybe you want that, maybe you don't. Um, again, it's kind of up to you. If you do really want the audio, let me know and I can add something to this uh, collab notebook to make sure audio is in included. So that's just a quick video on how to do random frames. Um, I've actually done a project or two, I'll link to this as well, um, where I actually did this to sort of create this sort of uh, behavior. Um, there's also a really wonderful uh, video which we may look at um, when we talk about sequencing from Martin, um, God, I wanna say Martin Vanesky, but that's a, that's a designer, uh, Martin Arnold. Um, I'll drink a I'll, I'll link, uh, I'll create a link to that video as well that kind of shows an interesting way to, to use this behavior to create really interesting sequencing. Um, so yeah, that's it for the, the random frames. I hope this helps Augustin and maybe some other folks as well. All right, uh, that's it.